Well, kids are back in class right now and catching the bus to school every morning, and so that's why police are reminding all of us to take it slow around schools and bus stops. Our Meredith Juliet spoke with a local officer who's now using some grant money to protect your kids. We had a guy go by at 42, 43, and when he passed us, he was looking down, which tells me he's probably looking down at his cell phone if he's not looking up. Officers are cracking down on driving violations in school zones and near school buses. Yeah, people need to pay attention when they drive out here. I think the distraction is a big part of it. A federal grant called the SAVE program focuses specifically on safe driving around children. It focuses on people who disobey the stop arm on school buses and speeding in school zones and speeding in neighborhoods where we get complaints of people where kids are waiting on the bus. He says officers who enforce these grants do it outside of their normal shifts, and he says this one is the most requested. So I think the officers that are out here working in these zones want to be out here because of the safety of the kids and the parents and the teachers that come and go from the schools. If you see a bus stop arm out, that means kids are getting on or off the bus. Most people know if you're behind the bus, you have to stop. But what if you're beside the bus on a four lane road or coming towards the bus on the other side of the road? Do you have to stop? So you have to have a divider going down the middle of the road. That can be concrete, that can be a grass median, or it could be metal barricades that, this, that they've been put down. If they have a divider in there, you do not have to stop. And he says when you aren't sure, just stop anyways. It would be better to err on the side of caution than to take a chance that you're not doing the right thing and one of those kids cross the road or something and you end up striking them or something. That would be not anything you'd want to have to live with the rest of your life for sure. So yeah, stop. You may remember Governor Eric Holcomb signed a bill last year allowing a judge to suspend your license for 90 days for passing a school bus with its stop arm extended.